Hi, I'm Ryan Rowley. I'm Kane Thompson. I'm Lucas Parr, and we're going to talk about the Eucharist. Uh, what is the Eucharist? The Eucharist is the bread, but it is so much more. It is the body of Christ. It is the comp completion of Passover. It saves us from slavery, sin, and saves us from hell. They used bread because it was easy to come by in many areas. And also, bread was seen as a food of nourishment. The Eucharist truly is the body and presence of Christ. The scriptural background of the Eucharist is Luke 22, 14 through 20, Mark 14, 17 through 25, John 6, 1 Corinthians 2, 23 through 25. I'm going to read John 6 and 1 Corinthians because they're very important to these. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had mind what he was going to do. Philip answered, It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of the disciples, Andrew Simon Peters, broke, I mean, brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small bar barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in the place, and they sat down. Jesus then looked, took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled twelve baskets with pieces of five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the signs Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king, by force withdrew against the mountain by himself. This is showing how Jesus like, did, performed the miracle by changing and distributing all the bread and feeding the 5,000 of people. So that shows us the nourishment of the Eucharist. Now I'm going to read 1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he saw was betrayed, took bread. And when he was given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper has, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. This is very important and should sound very familiar to all of us, because it is said at every school mass and every mass. It's very important because it is exactly what Jesus said, and it's what Father acts out in to be Jesus, to transfiguration of the body and blood during. I bet you're asking yourself, what does the Eucharist do? Jesus is the bread of life. The bread is a nourishment. It strengthens our connection with God and by uni uniting us. Jesus is the bread of life because he started it all. The Eucharist is the culmination because it is the body of Christ and we are receiving him into our bodies. By receiving the Eucharist, we are united in community with God. Forgiveness of venial sin strengthens relationship with God, increases grace, increases virtue, and increases the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's, Let's go, go interview some people. people. What does the Eucharist mean? The Eucharist means the Holy Bread of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, thank you. What is the Eucharist to you? I'm not Catholic, but it's the body of Christ. Do you know what the body of Christ is? It's what Jesus. Is God. Jesus. <laughs> How would you describe the Eucharist? The Eucharist is bread and it is transfigured into the body of Christ through Christ's word. Do you know anything about the effects? So it unites us with Christ, make our relationship with God stronger, forgiveness of final sin, increase the gift of the Holy Spirit, increase grace, and increase worship. Thank you. Go. Oh, wait, go. 
uh, some script. Whoa, some. Wow. I didn't even know what to do. Jesus, it's a brand. <laughs>